in this video, we will cover your POS screen layout or button layout, as some commonly call it. To access your POS screen layout, go to the setup menu, POS screen, POS screen setup. From here, it will show you a list of all of your screen layouts that you have available in your point of sale. So for example, a kiosk layout or your main layout under code number one. In Ideal POS, it's possible to add multiple layouts and have different layouts set on different POS terminals if you're a multi-site setup. Or it could simply be that you want to create a new menu without making any changes to your existing layout. You could add a new layout and call it new layout and save that. And that will allow you to create a new layout not affecting your point of sale. In this demonstration though, I will go to my main layout and edit that layout. To edit it, simply double click on that layout or on the lower left, select the buttons. This will open up a visual layout of your sales screen in an editable state. You'll notice in the top left corner, you are immediately presented with your item list that is searchable. This will allow you to do very quick changes by simply dragging and dropping items on your layout screen. On the bottom of the window, you will notice that your tabs are accessible. I can click on empty tabs and rename them. So if I wanted to rename this one, say coffee, I'll come in here, add it as cafe. Then from here, I can now search for my products using a description field, perhaps. So I can search for that large latte that I added in an earlier video. Simply drag that item down and drop it. And now I have that button function mapped out to sell that latte on my sales screen. I'll go ahead and also add that cappuccino. We'll drag and drop. To customize that button, simply click on that item and you will notice that on the top left window now, you'll have some settings for that button. So from here, I can change my color. So we'll make it orange. I can change my text color. I can change my font. I can make it bold, 14. And I can customize that button. I'll now hit save and that change is reflected immediately. Some other useful functionality in your pause screen layout is the top right hand corner where you've got access to copy formatting, copy buttons, move buttons and copy font only. So for example, copy formatting, what that will do is if I have that selected and I now drag my large latte over my large cappuccino, that large cappuccino will inherit the settings of that latte, i.e. the font, the back color, the text color will all update on that item. If I now go back to that collapsible drop-down box, I can also select copy button, which will allow me to drag and drop a copy of that button. You've also got move button, which will allow me to move that button around in a drag and drop style manner. As you can see, it is very fast and efficient to manage your POS screen layout with those few functionalities. If you are wanting to add buttons for other functionality in your point of sale, i.e. the product is not linked to a product, so for example, avoid button or avoid sale, simply select on an empty button, which will bring up a list of all of your button functions. And you can now create some of those other categories. So for example, if I wanted to do that void sale, you'll see that it's just a void line function. If I click on refund, you'll notice that it is just a refund function. So you can create different functions to access various other functionality on your pod screen layout. If you would like to see what all of those functions are, simply navigate to our Ideal POS support guide, search for function list, and that will bring up an article outlining all of the various functionality functions 
and what those features are designed to do. If not, feel free to contact your ideal POS representative. This concludes this short video on POS screen layouts.